Delighted to be joined by Lily Walsh and Adam Grant. How are you, lads? I'm the lad now yourself, David. Very good. Uh, great day here in Clag Show, um, which is obviously a huge event, and you're both local to it. Lily, yeah, you won already today? Yeah, I had a winner in the local riding class, so happy with that. Very good, well done. And this weekend, big weekend, uh, the local pony race meeting in Timon. Adam, um, this big weekend for the two of you has been your local meeting. Yeah, it's a very big meeting now. There's good prize money as well now, so all, all the top boys be coming down now. So hopefully we both get a winner or two now. Be be great now in the local. And you race in Richie O'Keefe's land, and it's a new track. You always raced around uh, over the other side of his land in a five furlong track, and it's a bigger one now, seven furlongs. Yeah, big thanks to Richie for doing this for us. It wouldn't be wouldn't happen if it wasn't for him. Now he doesn't really get much over, but he just does it for us now. So. Um, no, it's great for him, and the track is bigger, and um, no, it's big, no tight bends, big sweeping bends now. So hopefully it all goes well now on the day. Looks like a big, nice long straight as well. Yeah, which is a, help. a big, long, nice straight now. So um, no, hopefully it's good racing now, and hopefully a good day for everyone. Things are going well for you with the pony racing, and obviously you're showing and jumping as well, Lily. But um, three winners on the board already this season, 13 in total. So you must be happy with how it's going. Yeah, I'm very happy with the two ponies now. They both run very consistently every weekend, so very happy with them. And your mum and dad train them for you. Yeah, they do. Along yeah. with all them point to pointers as well. Yeah, very busy every morning. So. And you ride out for your mum and dad at home before school and when you're off school and everything as well, do you? Yeah, I ride out. Every morning, so. Good. And Adam, you to be then with Benny and Jenny as well a couple of mornings? Yeah, I'm in Benny and Jenny's Monday and Tuesday, and then I go down to Henry the Bromheads then on uh, Wednesday to Saturday now, so they're both very good to me now. So big thanks to Henry and Benny and Jenny and all the people. Great experience to be in Benny and Jenny's, obviously riding those pointers, riding youngsters and that, but then to go down to Henry's and ride out there as well, massive experience for you. Yeah, it's different riding the point pointer than then the sure Henry's two year olds and as well flat horses so um, no it's a big change now but it's great now, great experience now. And that opportunity obviously came about you yourself and Jack were very good friends. Yeah, me and Jack would have been um good friends now, so no. It's great now to go down to Henry just um no it's great now. Uh fifteen now, um you probably only have another year at this and then hopefully you'll be riding on the track. Any any plans looking ahead? start off on the flat maybe? Um, if I get a year out of the flat now it would be great now I'd tidy myself up um, but if I have to go jump it's not a bother and I've done plenty of schooling down with Penny and Jenny anyway so no it wouldn't be a bother if I had to go jumping. And Lily what about yourself? I know you're a bit younger obviously but uh, it's the plan just to be in racing and it's obviously ingrained in you from an early age so is that the plan racing? Yeah racing's the plan I haven't really taught much for it yet so. And your mum and dad are busy uh, they've had a good good couple of seasons over the last two years? Yeah, they've had a good couple of seasons, so a couple of winners here and there. So, so plenty of nice horses too? Yeah, a few nice horses there, so. Um, Obviously a close relationship with Adam, um, is he much of a help to you when, when he's riding? Yeah, he is sometimes giving me a few tips. That's, a, that, that's good to have though, isn't it? Yeah, he's it more experienced and telling me to keep out on the bends. And and obviously your dad's a huge help as well, no doubt. Yeah, he walks the track at me, tells me all these little details where to do stuff and where to keep out. And, and uh, who's your favourite jockey? Rachel Blackmore. Of course, that's probably easy enough. What about yourself, Adam? Um, the flat, give us one for the flat and one for the jumps. I'd say Dylan Brown McMonagall now. He's a big role model for all of us doing pony obviously racing. He had a huge... Um, Huge success in pony racing, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He must have rode a couple of hundred winners pony racing now. He's great now. Even he comes back to the pony racing, he brings gear for all of us now, so to give it to us. So no, he's very great. He's, he's very good now. So big thanks to him and all for supporting us. What about uh, jump jockey? Um, I'd say Davy Russell now. So, yeah. Yeah, I've always looked up to him now, so I say Davy. And Jack Hendy now the current champion uh, national hunt jockey. He was obviously a king of the pony racing when he was younger as well. Yeah, he did very uh, much pony racing now. So um, no, he's an unbelievable jockey as well. Now. So they all come from the pony racing ranks now. So so much success, so many of them. Yeah, everyone, nearly 90% of the jockeys in Ireland come from pony racing now. So look, it's great grounding for us now. So hopefully it keeps going now for another couple of years and gets more great jockeys out of it. 
um, three winners on the board. You've rode over 40 winners in total. And uh, a few weeks ago, you rode a winner in Scotland. Tell us a little bit about that, because I know in Scotland, it's massive over there. It's something that is very close to the heart. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's a two-day festival over in Scotland now in Hike. So, um, yeah, it's a big festival over there. They go up to town on their cobs and all before, the morning before, and uh, it's massive crowds over there. Could be a couple of, couple of thousand at it. and. No, it's great to ride a winner over there. Big thanks to Catty Flannery for bringing over her horses for me to let me ride all them. And um, no, it's great to get the opportunity to go over there. Anyway, Lily's doing very well at the riding. Improving yeah, she, all the time. Yeah, she is now improving. Just listening to her father and telling her father what she's doing wrong and right and all that. But no, she is getting on very well now. Obviously, to ride a winner any weekend is important, Lily. But you'd love to ride one this weekend in your local track in Timon. Yeah, I'd love to ride one this weekend with all my family and all that. So if they, it's too far to go every other weekend, it could be anywhere. Same for you, Adam. Uh, obviously, winner every weekend is important, but uh, th these local meetings. Yeah, exactly. Um, hopefully now I have a good chance in the Derby, I think, this weekend now. So. Okay, what's that on? Uh, Chloe Sam. So okay. hopefully now we go close on that now. So. Um, be great to get a winner in the local league my family and friends and i'll be there now so no it'd be great now good well listen lads uh, very best luck at the weekend and well done to all the successes you've had in such a short space of time already and uh, well done as well today lily thank you lovely david thanks